Hey everybody, David here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So I've got this little pilot from Model Kit that I got at a yard sale and it was just kind of a trashed model, but I saved this little pilot. And then I also got a little bottle that my wife gave me. It's uh, some eye drops. And I was looking at this shape and I thought, hmm, this and this, I might be able to make something kind of cool. So come on, let's see what we can do. And so here's this little pilot and I've had them for quite a while and it is, it's really cool and it's super small and I've never been able to use it for anything until I saw this eye drop bottle and man, my fingers are filthy. Hold on. Let me show you why my fingers are filthy. I'm actually uh, weathering up some bird skulls for a buddy of mine who they're 3d prints and he works with a nonprofit. So just helping him out. But anyways, back to the project here. I think if I can use this to and keep some of it clear, I think it could really make a cool little cockpit and maybe I'll paint out the bottom portion of it. So I need to cut this off and see if I can get that pilot to fit in there. So I just got out my Dremel tool and I'm hacking off the bottom piece. <laughs> Clearly that's, that hole's a little too small, but I wanna make sure that I keep the integrity so that lid will still click on and I have a surface to glue onto. So what I'm doing is just carefully Dremeling out and then snipping out this hole and then I'm gonna take my Dremel again and kind of start filing it down. And then I got a sanding bit and really just opening, opening that hole up there. So let's see if this fits in here. And after a little bit of work, that fit in really nice. And now all I gotta do is just clean off this bottle. These stickers actually came off super easy. So that was really nice. And look at that clear green. Oh, that is just really cool. So. The back still fits on. All right, that works for me. All right, gonna snip off these extra little pieces just so I can glue it a little bit um, more flush on the back of the inside of the bottle. Adding a little bit of paint to the visor here. I'll paint up the body. Again, I don't know if this is actually gonna show up that great, but you know what, let's uh, do it just so it adds a little bit of detail. Add some wash. The wash will give a little bit of dimension in the different crevices there. And then the control panel here, I'm going to add a couple of little green dots here and there. And then after I get some green dots, I got out some red paint, adding a couple little red dots. And again, not exactly sure if this is gonna show up, but uh, just a fun little touch, so I like that. Now I'm gonna glue this into the bottle. I did try super glue at first. It didn't really work, so I went ahead and wiped it all off and did some hot glue, got that placed right where I want it. And oh, that looks really, really cool. Uh, make sure these little spider webs go away. Adding a little bit of a CA glue or super glue here. And then I did a nice glob of hot glue in the back just to make sure everything held. Um, and even the hot glue kind of just held it in place until the CA glue could completely cure. So uh, doing a little bit of light sanding here. Um, and notice there's a little open thing there. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off. That's on the top part sand that down and that looks pretty great there's one on the bottom but i think i'm gonna keep it just <laughs> it's kind of fun just to remember where this thing came from so i'm using a little bit of polystyrene um, square tubing just so i can kind of differentiate the top cockpit that i'm going to leave clear from the bottom portion that i'm going to paint and so i'm kind of just dry fitting this right now just to see the angle i want to keep enough of the cockpit but I wanna kind of block out some of it. So I think this is gonna work. So I'll use a little bit of CA glue here. I'll glue that down and then just put it right into place. And I'll kind of align that while it's still wet. And then I'll glue down the back half once the first half is dry. Now I got this little Gundam piece and I believe it is like, on, it goes on the back, um, but there's a left and a right. So it's a little too big. So I think I need to trim it down and after I get this trimmed down, because it's a left and a right, there is one peg that's a little bit longer than the other. So I'm gonna snip that off to kind of even them out. I sanded that out. I'm gonna go ahead and sand off some of these sharper corners of my polystyrene just to give that a little bit smoother feel. And then here's that back fin again. Got some glue on it. Um, I got it all sanded down to fit perfectly on the back there and got that glued in. I think that looks great. So now I'm digging through my bits box because I want some kind of wing or something. And so I got some final faction parts. And then I found these 
little wings from a remote control helicopter that was completely broken apart. And so I'm just kind of doing a dry fit and they're a little too long, but it's almost right. I like, I like the length of these, but not quite that much. So I went ahead and trimmed off just about a half inch or so, scored it a couple times and then it just kind of bent and then I could snap that. Did another quick little dry fit and I, I I was thinking maybe a little bit shorter, but I don't know. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to go with it. Sometimes you just have to make the call and go with it. So I just used the second wing, aligned them, did a little score so I could see where to trim it, got my ruler out, and then cut that. Always use a metal ruler. You don't want to jump a ruler in, uh, with a plastic ruler and cut your finger. Uh, add a little bit of CA glue here put the wing in place. I just kind of held it at an angle that seemed right to me. I did use a little bit of uh, accelerator, CA glue accelerator, and it glued in super nice. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on that second wing. I went ahead and just eyeballed that and tried to pay attention to the angle there. And I found this little piece from a tank model and it felt maybe like it could look like a sensor or something like that. So. Gluing that on place there. We'll get that painted up a little bit later, but I want to add a couple more greeblies. So I found this little like chip or circuit board from a cell phone, and I'm going to glue that on there. And I'll glue one from the other side as well. And that adds just a little bit of texture to the, to the body of the plane overall. And then I added a couple of little rivets that I'll probably paint out maybe to look like sensors. Um, I might paint them red or green but uh, now it's time to mask this thing up and so once I've got it mas masked up I'm going to prime it and then I'm going to paint it silver and after I painted it silver it was almost a little too clean and shiny so I took some sandpaper scuffed it up repainted it silver and it gave it some nice texture and then I'm going to just take a wash this is just black shoe polish a little bit of water and some acrylic paint and do a nice little wash over the whole thing. Um, I'm out of my Nolan oil, so hopefully I can get some of that pretty soon. Uh, just patting that down to take off some of the excess. And then what I wanted to do was add like a little bit of a, maybe a Star Wars-esque kind of paint job to the wings. Uh, and then I'll be able to take my X-Acto blade and chip off some of this paint because it hasn't been clear coated yet. So that allows me to just lightly scratch and give this really cool weathering effect to it. While I had that paint out, I thought, you know what, I might as well just paint this little frame that differentiates the cockpit from the, the body itself. And I had this blue that's a little bit translucent, so I painted that on the engines just to give it like it's uh, maybe been uh, oxidized by the burning of the metal, or by the burning of the thrusters, I should say. And then I got my Vallejo Rust, and I love doing this. Just putting some weathering on there gives it a little bit of grime and wear and tear. It's been flying all over the galaxy uh, on these adventures. And there it is, completely painted up. I did do a clear coat, a matte clear coat on there, so everything should be nice and sturdy. And here we go. This is Christmas. Let's peel off this mask and see the, the uh, cockpit here. Oh, man, this looks really cool. I'm really pleased with that. That's super fun. So I've been using these bases. They're just little hobby bases, but they're a little dorky. And a buddy of mine called that out. So I took this to my chop saw and cut it down into like a little block and then stained it with a wood stain, like an ebony. And then I drilled a hole in it and I did a little polystyrene tube that I can mount my little ship on. And I think we're about ready to wrap this one up. Okay, that was an like an absolute delight to put this one together. It it just fell into place. Really had no struggles with this one. It just kind of happened and I really like it. It was fun. And really the cool part is is like finding a piece of trash and just being able to see the potential in it and go make something cool out of it. Do it with a friend, do it with your kiddos, do it with uh, people that you love and uh go make something together and have an awesome time doing it. So yeah, let's do some turnaround shots of this, and as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a great one.